Welcome back to WWE 2K23, my GM mode. I am your GM. Attacks like there are three weeks until SummerSlam, and I am tenuously a little bit, tiny bit, still in first place among my competitors. And we have this Hall of Fame trophy business in, yeah, it's a lot, man. It is a whole freaking lot. But let us book this show. We promise Randy Orton, the Viper, the Apex Predator, a main event spot. And this week, this day, I assure you, we're going to finally have our mid-card IC champion. Because last time, Randy needed more stamina. And this time, we should be good booking the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes with 54 stamina. And Randy Orton with 66 stamina should be okay. And yes, for the IC title, that closes the show. Randy in the main event. We open the show, I do believe, with a non-title, AJ Styles and Roman Reigns. AJ with 98 stamina is wild, but no title on the line, that's for sure. Those two face-to-face, -face, it's happening. I do want to look at our stamina here for Alba is 34. She's happy, but at 34, which to me says we have Alba doing a promo on the show and not in a match on the show. So that kind of is the deal there. So we head to the call out promo and we put the queen calling out Alba Fire. So we need to regain some stamina there. Our commissioner goal... Oh, right. AJ cutting a promo. Well, does it count if I clear the first match? So clear the match and say we'll continue to have AJ call out Roman Reigns. So AJ continues to call out Roman Reigns, and that does meet the commissioner goal. So there is that. And again, rebuilds Roman's stamina for our eventual main event. But what does that mean for our opening contest? I guess we could open with Andre and Stacked. Mix slacks because we didn't get our tag team deal last time. So Andre and Stacked, and they have, wow, their stamina is real bad. I don't want them getting injured, so no. We go back to our tag team contest. So how about a tag team tables match? And say we still want to have T-Bar and Shanky, Umberto and Jey Uso, and wow, all their stamina is real bad. What does... This is just rough, man. What if we have the tag team titles as a sweetener there on the line? We'll try it and see how it goes. Let's get our logistics nailed down here. So check mark on that. Road crew, we're good. Basic effects, we're good. Oh, I know what I can do here, I think. Uh, I don't know that the run-ins cause that much stamina. Therefore... Who else can I book on this card that would make sense to book on this card? I guess we continue with Balor and Bill. So that Balor boy and that Bill boy, he has 42 stamina and Bill has uh, that. So again, we'll do a rematch of Mania with them and it'll be a last man standing match. Because, sure. Okay. Otherwise, this is like a one-match card here with our main event, because otherwise it's a problem. I don't want to have our guys get messed up. So Rhea Ripley is a bruiser, and therefore she needs a fighter to fight against. And what does that look like in our signages? We have Dakota Kai at 64,000. So that's a possibility here. Let's sign Dakota for that cost for like 10 weeks. Rhea and Dakota, and they're both heels. So that's not going to be a good matchup, but it is what it is for this week, because we got to book something here on this card. Otherwise, give me a charity promo, and that charity promo is indeed Jimmy Uso. So we're at 71, we have 154 in the bank, and my only ask here is that nobody gets injured in this tag team match. Playa, holla holla. Otherwise, all of our logistics are great. And in our power cards, I do want to retain most fans this week. So yes, we'll do that for the week. There we go. The power card. Otherwise, we got beginner's luck to raise my pop on a low guy. We got physio to reduce the injury chance. That's 15k. And health spa. 
I feel like 15,000 for six stamina seems like a lot, but it is what it is, right? So, the show looks like opening with the tag team titles, the Giants and the Cruisers. The Queen calls out the champion, Balor versus Bill in a last man standing match. AJ calls out the champion, mid-card Rhea and Dakota, heel versus heel, yeah I know. Charity promo from Jimmy Uso, and your main event, finally, the IC title, Cody and Randy. Confirming this $71,000 SmackDown. Let's see what it do simulate. And do we have? We do! New champions, Umberto J. Uso, three and a half stars. So they stunk it up yesterday, and today they did great. I don't get it, but hey, perhaps it's just having those titles on the line gives them that much more incentive to be a ha to have a good match. Meanwhile, call out one to two. We're doing good there. Mid card, last man standing, Balor and Beal. We get the Balor boy, the last man standing, two and a half. It was okay. The call out, AJ calling out Roman, it was okay, one to two. Mid card, I expect this to be bad, but we'll see. Rhea and Dakota, it is Rhea. And just, yes, one and a half because heel versus heel is not a good match. Meanwhile, charity promo, Jimmy Uso, 5K fan, I'll take that. And finally, adrenaline in my soul, something something Cody Rhodes. It is finally time to put Cody in the thumbnail. Wrestling has more than one royal family. He is here, given his CWC pyro. It is the American Nightmare. The grandson of a plumber, if you will. Hot times for Cody, who didn't get it done at WrestleMania, unfortunately. But here he is today to get that IC title. Bring it on, CWC Capital Wrestling Center, because he is here to fight his former legacy pal in Randy Orton. I can't wait. Here we go, finally. With the pyro. Love it. But the history between these two men is a lot. Legacy in the building. Where's Teddy Jr.? Oh, right. The state of Mississippi wants words with Teddy Jr. Anyhow, Viper here in the building. Apex Predator. Randy Orton, the legend killer, if you will. Let's crown ourselves an IC champion. The first one on this brand, finally, after weeks of waiting. So, right now, no one is champion. It is our inaugural SmackDown IC champion is happening. Raise that title. The first ever champ, Pat Patterson, winning in that tournament in Rio back in the 70s. So, here we go, Randy. Let's get it done, Mr. 09 Randy Orton. Get well soon, Randy Orton. Oh! Oh, Bionic Elbow out the gate from Cody is awesome. Love it. Love it. So don't worry. Oh, pedigree, man. All the stops here. I'm sorry. Not a pedigree. Not a pedigree, but still, same setup for that business. So can't get mad at that with Randy's side. Russian leg sweep. Cody going up. Cody wants to fly. Cody with all the strength in the world on the back of the back there. The smaller back if you will. Um, but Cody here, again, got that side Russian, and then taunt the man with your terrible neck tattoo. It is what it is. Oh, the disrespect to Randy Orton. Now, we're getting that head nice and orange because the crossroads is a coming. You know it. I know it. It is inevitable. So, get up, Randy. Get up. I want me a Cody Cutter at some point. Woo! Disaster kick from Cody Rhodes. Here we go. It's going to be a one-sided affair, Randy, as I want that IC title. Restore the glory of the IC title. And what? <laughs> that was great. Just the miss there and how slow it was, that was fan-freaking-tastic, Randy Orton. I'm going to get my clothesline. You won't be done here. Pretty quickly from the American freaking nightmare brainbuster. So, again, 
Woo! The cannonball is hilarious. It is time for my signature, Mr. Orton. Uh, ducked it, and he ducked it. And no signature. All right, and now Randy finally, his mean streak coming through here. The stomps, the vintage Randy Orton. Uh, I don't appreciate that, Randy. I don't because we're not woo, done yet. The Dustin Rhodes there, the gold dust, if you will. The up and the down. Pinfall? Pinfall this early? Two and a two count. Well, Randy, I hate to be the bearer of bad news for you here, but... Ah, uh, crossroads. And it is. That's it. Randy, one, two, and a two count from Orton. That's nuts. And again, the, the kick misses. The kick misses. I went for it, though. I went for it. And Randy now, methodically, surgically, working on that peck that he knows was injured. And Ra All right, Randy, sure. Close line. Like, I will tap you out. Don't think I won't. Tap you out and make it a win. No! Dragon screw leg whip from Randy Orton. And a pinfall on that. You are not Tanahashi. Not happening. I'm sorry. Uh, not even in the slightest. Randall. And... Oh! The thing of beauty, that power slam. It's so good. It's so good. But not good enough to take out Cody Rhodes. Flatten you on your face. And sure, I'll attempt a pinfall here. Because why not? Two and a two count. And Cody is frustrated. But there's no bloodline to cost me this matchup. There's only a Viper in the ring. There's no one on the outside to even get anywhere close to that business. So Bulldog goes Cody to the top. Oh, Randy uses... All right, all right, look, Randy. Randy, nah, nah. Gonna flop. Bro, are you kidding me with that? I had it, I reversed it, and it didn't work. So, oh, Vertebreaker? Vertebreaker? Okay, sure, since when? But sure, I'll take it. One, two, and new! Finish the story, Cody. Finish the story. But this story is being the IC champion. So, Mania didn't work out, but here we are on the road to SummerSlam. Four stars amazing! We opened good, we closed good, we had one stinker because heel versus heel, but otherwise, not a bad SmackDown. Meanwhile, WCW, I'm still baffled at Nikita having 100 in popularity, but okay, versus Lacey again, Extreme Rules. Where is their budget if they're booking these Extreme Rules? Three stars. Cherry Homer from Logan Paul gets 5k. Mid-card, Ilya and Marseille, giant and specialist, we get Marseille, oh victory, three stars, new rivalry. Skipping two promos to a Big E who is the champion versus MVP versus Gulak in that mid card. So one, two, three, we get Gulak as your a victor. So three stars on that. And your main event, Aziz versus one half of your tag team champions. So sure, okay, standard match, Aziz. Victorious. It is a three and a half star somehow matchup. Okay, sure. Meanwhile, Monday Night Raw is a stack show, I think. R Truth versus Austin Theory. Fighter versus Bruiser. It is Austin Theory. A town down and a three and a half stars on that. So, Indy Hartwell. Self promo. It was good. Mid card tag team match. Cena and Tazawa, LA Knight, and Matt Riddle. What do we get? It is. L.A. Knight and Matt Riddle. Let me talk to you, bro. Call out Asuka calling out GG. Level 4 on their stuff. Mid-card Loomis and Holland. Loomis 2 belts. And Holland and Dex Loomis getting that win there. It is 2.5. Okay. Nakamura says, come on. Good. Plus 3. And your main events. Tables match. Triple threat. Roxanne Perez, Tamina, and GG, who is the champion. It is Tamina. Ain't nobody Mina three stars. Meanwhile, NXT. 
Rollins and Grimes versus Edge and Butch. Edge is champion. And it is Edge and Butch. Good. Three stars. Maurice cuts a promo. Got one on pop for that. Mid-card women's title backstage brawl. Again, 90,000 on that. Alexa and Dewdrop. New champion? New champion? Nope. Alexa Bliss retains. Good for her. A classic. A four and a half star backstage brawl. Bro. How? Zia Lee. Promo. It was okay. Plus one. Normal mid-card tag team titles. Shelton and Ivar versus Veer and Cedric. Your, I guess, inaugural NXT tag team champions are Veer and Cedric Two Belts. There we go with that. Maurice calls out Dana Brooke. It was okay. And your main event, big meaty men slapping meat, carrying cross, Damian Priest. And the winner is carrying cross. And it was three stars. It was okay. I had good booking, but I had that one stinker in there. So perhaps not going to win for the week. But it. Oh no! Oh, hold on! I missed that shanky is out for four weeks. That's bad. That's bad. So we got new tag hands, but Shanky's out. And that's that was a good match. It was a rivalry, but Shanky got hurt. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Um, otherwise, no other injuries on the other shows. So that sucks for me. Okay, look. I have a card for that. I have a power card for that. So we're going to find out what's going to happen with that. But good lord. Oh, we got 64,000 fans on that show. So, that's good. 50k on our profit and keeping in that 200k on the budget. Boy, boy howdy. Now, WCW did uh, 52 on their show and they made 65 on that. Okay, Raw did uh, 48 and they did uh, 75 on their budget, so they're doing good there. And NXT did uh, 53, and their budget got them uh, $520. What? Okay. Power card, free effects booking. Okay. And we are still maintaining our lead, but not by a whole lot. It was like 2,000, now it's like 13,000. So yes, the lead increased, but again, they are hot on my heels, and maintaining that number one spot is going to be quite difficult heading into SummerSlam. And again... Two weeks until that show, and Shanky is hurt. Wait, what? Eric Bischoff. Controversy creates cash. My show cost is now doubled. I cannot believe you, Eze. -E. Ah, hey ya, listen -a. All special matches are doubling in cost this week. Some kind of union thing. Sorry. Thanks, game. Thanks. Is what it is. Yeah. Don't do heel versus heel. I'm sorry. Rule breakers heels. Versus heels. Akira Tozawa wants to defect to SmackDown. The power of Tozawa. For how much? How much? At a discount. $82,000? No. Stay on Raw. That's too much. Like 20, 30, 40? Okay. 80? No. Randy Orton mad that Cody is beating him each and every week. But no, you're in a rivalry, Randy. It is a top-tier rivalry. I can make you win, that's fine, but good lord. So no, the crowd's sick of it. Small decrease in his morale. Man, all right. Oh, right. I forgot about Charlotte Flair. I forgot about Charlotte Flair. I'm sorry, Charlotte. I forgot. And have at least one Tornado Tag Team match this week. Yeah, that's going to be rough to do. But over here in the power cards, injury rehab, yes. So, reduce that injury to main event Shanky. So now just one week for Shanky. He can still make SummerSlam for those tag team titles. Good lord. Anyhow, that is it for today. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here on this channel. And I'm out.